All right, guys. I hope you enjoy your month of the year song. And now we're going to talk about some more stuff. So earlier I mentioned to you about we were talking about the five senses this week. And I want to see if you can look up my pictures and remember what we said. We have five different senses for exploring the world and everything around us. And if I show you this, it's a picture of a hand with a really big thumb. And what do we do with our hands? That's for touching and feeling things, right? And you can describe things. Things could be hot. Ouch, we don't want to touch anything that's too hot, cold. It could be soft or smooth, could be rough or scratchy, all different things we can um, feel when we touch something. So touch is one of our senses. This is not a really good drawing of the mouth. And what sense did we say you explore with your mouth? Taste. So what, your food that you taste, it could be sweet like candy or cakes or cookies it could be salty like potato chips it could be spicy like chicken wings or something that has hot sauce on it um this is a picture of a nose what do we do with our nose we smell you could smell something that's pretty like flowers or something baking in the oven smells really good or you could smell something stinky like a skunk. Miss Paula's car got sprayed by a skunk like the week before Thanksgiving and it was really bad. One of your other senses is that's an eye for we what we see. Things that you see. You can see things that are pretty and you can see things that are bright you can see, see things that are scary um, you can see things that are big and things that are little we, we have sight and then this is a ear for hearing you can hear things that are loud you can hear things that are quiet you can hear music you could hear animals all sorts of things that you can hear with your ears all right so um we have played this uh we've used these shapes these three-dimensional shapes i just pulled four of them out to play a game that miss chi and i played with you guys while we were videotaping at school um, the shapes are this one do you remember it's a cube a cube has six sides one two three four five six and all the sides are a square so a cube has six squares six sides that are squares this is a cylinder. Can you find anything at your house that's the shape of a cylinder? In my house, I have toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls and coffee cans and any kind of canned food. I have corn and beans. How about this shape? A sphere but what what toys at your house are the shape of a sphere I'm sure you have lots of balls at your house look what I have at my house the, the shape you know what that is that's a globe it's a globe it's a round map of the whole earth all the countries and cities and places on the earth our last shape that we're going to use for our game today 
is a cone our cone shape so on our cone shape we have one side that's a circle and one side is a point and do you remember this game we played with Miss Chi it's called the hot or cold game you guys can play that at home with your grown-ups or with your siblings so you can find examples like cans and balls and cubes and cones. You might have things at your house. You could have a party hat. We had ice cream cones sometimes. Or you might have something else that's the shape of a cone. So if you have 3D shapes or you can use other toys to play hot or cold. So I'm going to kind of hide these just in this area right here. And we're going to look around and see if we are hot or cold. If you're going towards an object and you're getting close to the object that you're supposed to find, then you get warm and warmer. And if you're really close to it, you're hot. If you're far away from the shape, then you're cold, right? All right, let me pause it so I can put some shapes around. Okay, guys, this game's a little bit easier when you have two people playing together. But this is just an example, so you can play it at home with your family. So I'm just going to show you a little skin of the area here. All right. Now, if I ask you to find the shape that is the same as a shape that you bounce or throw or catch or roll, what shape do you think it is? If I go over here and I say, oh, I see a shape, would you say I'm hot or cold? I'm cold, right? Can you bounce that shape? Can you catch that shape? I guess you could. It wouldn't be too easy. What shape is that up there? That's a cone. That's not the shape we're looking for. We're cold. But if I keep looking... Remember where the shape was? The shape is a sphere. It's shaped like a ball. And the shape is beside the container of Play-Doh. Beside the Play-Doh. If I say, can you find the shape that has squares on all the sides? On six sides, it's a square. If I look back down there, does that have square sides? No. Look back on there, is that side, is that shape? No, that was the cone. That was the sphere. How about here? Is that or, oh, can you see it? So, I could say the cube, right? That's our cube. The cube is in the glass. The cube is in the glass. The sphere is beside the Play-Doh. If I say, can you find the shape that is like um, a can of soup or a paper towel holder? The shape has a circle on two sides. If I go this way, what do you say? I'm getting warmer. I'm getting warmer. Oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. What is that shape? Can you see it? Oh. It is a cylinder. The cylinder is beside the globe. The cylinder is beside the globe. 
And I'm also, if I said, can you find the shape that has one circle and one point? And it can roll. It is. If I said, find the cone, I am very hot right here, right? If I was on the other side of the room, I'd be cold. I'm hot. Hot. This is a cone. It can roll. It rolls around in a circle. It has a circle on one end and a point on one end. All right, friends. One second, and I'm going to read you a story. All right, so that game is more fun when two people are playing it and not just by yourself, but it's a good way to practice your three-dimensional shapes or you can practice other things, like you can practice your describing words. Um, I have my book for you today is Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? Why do you think Miss Paula picked this book today? Because your eyes see and sight is one of our senses. And this is one of my Eric Carle books and Bill Martin Jr. And we love Eric Carle. And we like all of these books. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, a black panther, and all wild and free. That's what I see. So what was the, the child doing in this story? He was dreaming. When do you dream? Well, Miss Paula's book has a big tear in it I need to fix. When do you dream? When you're sleeping. So Thursdays are health and safety. And I just wanted to talk to you just for a couple minutes on the importance of sleep for your body. So when we're at school, we take a rest time and some of my friends sleep and some of my friends don't, which is fine because everybody's different. But at night time, when you're home, you need to relax and you need to get as much sleep as you can. Sleep is very important. It's important for your body because your sleep 
makes your body stronger. You grow when you're sleeping. You grow when you're sleeping. Your brain gets to rest and you're, you can concentrate better and think better when your body gets enough sleep. You can, um, you're healthier. You don't get as sick or um, as sick as often when your body sleep when you sleep enough because it helps your immune system. So you grow, you're healthier, it helps you learn more. So sleep is very important to your to your body and to your health. So if you need to relax at night, do you think it's a good idea to play all kind of wild things right before you go to sleep? Do you think you should watch exciting, scary stuff or, or get all wound up? No. When we're at school and we like to have our rest time, it's good to have the lights dim. We like to play some soft music. It's a good idea sometimes um, to have a grown-up read a book to you. And if they can't, they don't have time, you can look at the book on your own. So... It's important at night to calm yourself down and to go to sleep and sleep well at night so that you can be healthy and strong and smart and grow. And I will talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye.